Okay. Hey, y'all. We haven't done a whole lot today. Just kind of been relaxing so far. Um, me and youngest had ham and cheese sandwiches for breakfast. Breakfast slash lunch. And the oldest made herself a macaroni and cheese and turkey sandwich. <laughs> so, um, you know, I still need to do all my desserts. I have not done my desserts yet. But I did bake my sweet potatoes off last night. And so, you know, instead of boiling, I bake mine because I keep all the color and all the flavor, you know. So right now I'm getting ready to peel, um, peel the skin off, get the meat out. And I'm just going to put it in my bags so that when I'm ready to go in there and start whipping them up, I can. And I wanted y'all to be able to see how pretty the purple sweet potatoes are. So I was like, let me go ahead and film. So I gotta be careful and try not to move much because like I said, I haven't got up yet. I haven't put a bra on. I ain't done nothing. So yeah. We can't be flashing people. So I'm just gonna put it in a ziploc. I wish I knew where some of my gloves were. Because these are sticky. Real sticky. But it's gonna be alright. I have three purple sweet potatoes. And when I tell you they they actually have more natural sugar in them than the regular. You can see all this dripping. Like there's a puddle in this pan from the purple. There's no puddle from the orange. Orange side of the pan is dry. But the purple, they give off juices and stuff. Remember, I just rubbed these down with some um, Crisco and wrapped them up and baked them. And so, here we go. And it's good and juicy. Look at that. It's the same color as my pillowcase over there. It's a purple potato. That's a pretty bright purple, right? And the other good thing about baking your potatoes is the skin just peels off. It just peels off. These little root pieces you gotta really pull out of there, but Mari, do we have any pie dough? I gotta make the pie dough, baby. Oh. Can you please quiet down there, baby?
Can you and Snickerdoodle go ahead and conversation somewhere else? You're talking. She's talking. <laughs> what is she saying? She's talking to you, not me. But she's loud. I know that. I'm just going to cut this little caramelized part off. No! That's where the potato was sitting against the pan. So, you know, sugar caramelizes. So I just don't want that extra change in flavor. Make sure I get all the skin. With the skin being purple and the potato purple, sometimes it's a little hard to see your skin. And I go ahead and cut the ends off because um, I've said before when I do my sweet potatoes, I take all the strings out. <clears throat> well, your strings start at the end anyway, so. I just go ahead and cut that off and get rid of that first big clump of string. So it just peels off. Like these have been cooling all night because. I put these in the oven when I took the um, dressing and everything out. So once they were done, I took them out and I just let them sit so they could cool. And the steam is what kind of releases the, um, the skin for you. So you can just peel it off like this. Shaylin, take that out of here. You know I'm recording. If I keep asking you to turn it down in the room, why would you bring it in here? Hush. Hush. Shaylin, that game cannot hear you, so we don't need to hear you talking to it. Potato number two. I'm going to dry it off a little bit again. Shailen. All right, so. Hey, Captain Pam. Yep, I put them in full in the bacon. And then I just peel the skin off. And you get to keep you keep all your nice, pretty, bright color. Y'all see how pretty this is? Like it is seriously matching my pillow. Mm 
I'm going to pull all these out. Like I said. And when I get ready to whip these up, I'm going to whip them until I pull every string out of my mitt, out of my batter. No strings in my potatoes. Now, I said before, when I was little, and my granny would make me stand there and whip all the strings out the potato. I thought she was making stuff up. I thought it was like a punishment. Hey, Hungry Squad. I just was like, I'm, you know, this. she's just trying to, you know, give me something to do. She's making up stuff. I'm like, nobody does this. Like, why am I doing this? But I never really understood until I was older and I got a piece of somebody's sweet potato pie who did not get all the strings out. And you take a bite and you're pulling on strings and trying to chew through strings. That's that's not cool. So still to this day, I take the strings out. Thank you, Hungry Squad. I saw you last night when you joined me. Can y'all please stop? Don't walk over here and you don't have any pants on. Hey, Prime. Look, girl, you and those sounds have to go. Why can't you just give me back my tablet? Why are you taking the tablet? She was playing because with it. Because I want to play on it. And she yeah, never she didn't even my permission. She just came and just took it like she always does. Okay. No, ma'am, go back in there. Bye. This is not the let's listen to you cry video. Here we go. You better hush. Look how pretty and purple it is. Look at that. Hold on, let me clean my hands off. You eat the strings. <laughs> but when you're just sitting there eating a whole, whole, you know, baked potato, that's a different thing. You know, nobody's going to sit there trying to peel strings out of a whole potato they're eating. But when you're eating a pie and it's supposed to be creamy and, you know, custardy, don't want strings in it like no that's that's not cool i don't don't give me no stringy don't give me no stringy pie stringy pudding no that's no mm -mm. that should be string free i have a thing with textures This is my last purple. When I go get my purple potatoes, I search through all of them to find the big ones because a lot of them are just really, really teeny tiny um, little stringy potatoes. And I will search through that whole pile just to find me, you know, a few good sized purple potatoes. Because to sit and peel 
them teeny tiny ones it takes you forever. You need a million of them and you can get a whole bunch of strings. The smaller it is, the more strings there are in a yam, in a sweet potato. Hold on, let me fix my shirt, y'all. Told you I didn't get dressed yet, so. It's just me and a shirt. <laughs> Hey, Frank. But these are uh, like I said, these have more natural sugar than the orange ones. So when they bake, they give off a lot of extra sugar in your pan. But when you're making stuff with them, these are drier than the orange ones. They take a lot more liquid to get that nice, creamy, custardy batter. And so you can't just take these and take a recipe from a normal sweet potato pie and try and make a pie with it, because that pie gonna be dry. That's why when that lady took my picture and just attached a normal recipe to the picture, you know, when people were contacting me telling me somebody stole my picture, stole my picture, you know, I wasn't even concerned about the stealing my picture part. I just kept telling them, let her know that recipe is not gonna work. <laughs> That's all I was concerned about. Don't put my picture on something and connect it to a, a bad recipe. I'm thinking that that's what my pie tastes like. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Tell her that recipe ain't going to work. The purple sweet potatoes are seasonal. They're only out from about, I think it's like the end of September, maybe beginning of October. And they have them until about, I think, the January, February's time. And then they're gone. And you can only really find them at Whole Foods and Sprouts. And these are the purple sweet potatoes, not the purple yam. Those are completely different. The purple yam is Japanese and it's not sweet. <laughs> the purple yam is Japanese and it's not sweet. And the inside is not purple. The purple yam, the outside is purple. The inside is white yeah i think it's white so i don't want people to get mistaken and go into a store trying to get purple sweet potatoes and they grab that because they sell those purple um yams in a big old bag i don't want them to go in there and grab that big bag and then get home and be like what why is this not right Two completely different things. These are purple sweet potatoes. They are always going to be listed and called a purple sweet potato. The purple yam is a whole nother animal. It's not sweet. It's like... Um, Uh, what's that thing my ex-husband they ate to, used to make fufu cassava it's like cassava it's a yam it's it's dry it's white yeah okay so here's my purple sweets I'm just gonna close them up because I'm making I'm using my purple sweet potatoes this year I do something different each year 
So this year I'm going to be making a hummingbird cake, but I'm going to make it a purple sweet potato hummingbird cake. So that's what these are going to go in. And then my yellow. My yellow, I'm going to make regular sweet potatoes. Making a pie. And then you asked me to make a casserole. Okay. So these give off a little juice, but it's not so much that it came all out of the pan. But they do give off juice. Don't get me wrong. They are sweet. So there is juice in here. It's just not as much as those. And then I still do the exact same thing. So I grab that root in and snatch it off. You see how easy it was? What is that on it? It's the eyes of the potato. Potatoes, remember, potatoes grow in the ground. They have roots all over them. So those are all roots I'm pulling out of there. Yeah. That's why I like baking my potatoes. That's why. How do you know which ones are rich? What do you mean? Like which ones are the purples and which ones are the purple? Because the purples are purple. The skin is purple. Look at it. This skin's purple. This skin is brown, right? So that's how. That looks so easy. It is because I baked them. Look at that. Hmm. Done. I'm just gonna pull these little eyes out that are in there. Because I don't want eyes in my pies either. Mm -hmm. Strings. Keep my clothes on. And the, the orange ones seem to shrink up. If you notice, those purple ones didn't get any smaller. But if you notice, there's a lot of extra space in these orange ones when you peel the skin off. They're just, you know, I'm not sure what causes that. Why the orange ones get smaller. But the purple ones don't. But like I said, the purple ones are drier. So it might be that these have more water in them. And the water evaporates away. And then you're left with just the potato. Because, you know, this is like... That's a lot of space there that just went away. And I think that might be what it is. Is there's more water in the orange potatoes. Ooh, this is a stringy potato here. Super stringy. Super stringy, ooh.
And I also told y'all the smaller the potato, the more strings you got. This is an example. Um, again, cutting off some of the excess caramelization. Just so I don't change the flavor of my pie. I think this is my last one. Skin. That's a lot of extra skin. Like right there, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Purple. That's my foot. That one's kind of stringy. And it's stringy. That's all strings right there. Yeah. And sometimes you can just grab a whole layer of them and pull all the strings right off. See? Because I de-string my potatoes, I always buy more than I'm actually needing because, you know, when you start pulling them strings out, you start losing a lot of the volume that you think you had. There we go. Matt, really See, now this is all just potato. I just took all the strings out of that one. They were all on the outside. There's my orange potatoes. You see the purple? And purple. And here's my purple potatoes. And that's going to be some pies and cakes. And some. So, yeah. That's all it is to bake your potatoes, leave them wrapped up in foil so they can steam while they're cooling, and you just slide the skin right off. Purple potatoes, like I said, they're super sweet. They have a lot of sugar. That's what's stuck to my hands. I got purple stuff stuck to my hands right now. Just from all the sugar that's in those potatoes. But yeah. That's it, y'all. I just wanted to show you how I do the potatoes. <laughs> I'm trying not to show it. Um, show y'all how I do the potatoes after I bake them, let them steam, and then just slide the skin right off. So I'm going to go wash my hands because they're all sticky now and put this in. No, I'm not going to put it in the fridge because then they get too firm. I'm just going to sit them over there by my mixer. So, um. Once I actually get dressed, I can go and get started on getting them whipped and getting all the rest of the strings out of them all. Um, 
I'll probably go ahead and record that too, just so people can see what I'm talking about when I say I pull the strings out. You can see that process. So. Yeah, that's that. Mm -mm, they don't mix. So that's all. What? Wait a minute. So that's all of that. I'm going to shut this down. And um, I will be back later on when I go in there and start de stringing and making my custom. So bye, y'all. Love you too. See you later, Prime.